everybody, it's Chris with Hot Spot Metals in Chicago. Don't you love that salsa music? Wow. I like that, and I like uh, cumbia music. Just something about it gets me, gets my blood going. And don't you hate those long, long, long unboxing videos out there? Just, just Google unboxing videos. <laughs> Holy cow, do I really need to see you pull off every strip of tape? Uh, no, I do not. Anyway, what was coming in today was some pieces from Golden State Mint. These really beautiful Freedom and Justice Girls. I bought a quantity of these to sell someday, maybe in just a few months, years, whatever, because I think that of all of Golden State Mint stuff recently, this is pretty cool. I'll have more coming in, and I'll uh, I'll share that with you too. Some of their stuff's really wild, really a lot of political messages, a lot of uh, economic messages. And even though I really really appreciate the messages, it's not stuff that I think I could sell. But you know, there's a lot of room for women to get into collectible silver, and not only that, I love looking at a beautiful woman, and these are beautiful women on silver so yeah we got a little 41 millimeter canvas here where we can appreciate a little bit of art and it's just like anything else that someone hangs on their wall i like looking at it and yeah someday i'll sell it and the cool thing is even though i sell it it'll be around hundreds of years from now in somebody's hands so one of the cool things about collecting silver as well as stacking silver. Today I saw a great, what I thought personally, because I can't give you any advice, I saw a great entry point into silver. I went to my own site, checked all the links, see who had the best deal, and SD Bullion has one price for as many random American Silver Eagles as you'd like, no price limit, or one price across the whole spectrum. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're on Facebook right now, you see that see that like and share thing? The liking and sharing is great because I know you're going to be here for a little while. I know you shared it with maybe some friends of yours who might also enjoy this, but uh, yeah, click that. If you're watching it on YouTube, take just a second and hit that subscribe button. That means a lot. That means that we end up getting recommended to more people and our little club here grows. Anyway, what the heck was I saying? Oh, I went to SD Bullion, got myself another uh, several tubes of the uh, American Silver Eagles. If you go over $100, it's free shipping. There's links on my pricing page now to SD Bullion where you can just go there right to the coin that you're interested in. And I don't make a dime on it. I'm just trying to give you good advice, trying to tell you what I do, and you can evaluate for yourself. But I did pick up more ASEs today. The charts looked right. The RSI, if you watch my RSI video about the relative strength indicator, it got down there into the 40s which is a nice sweet spot. It could go a little bit lower. I don't care. I'm not going to worry about a nickel on 100 coins. But, you know, these are the things that defray your cost of the premium. And if you, if you continually purchase at the bottom of these oscillations, you'll always end up above that. And your cost, your, your, I'm dollar cost averaging. No matter what I've bought over the last 18 months, every purchase I make goes into the dollar cost average. And this is really important. Somebody asked the famous Jim Rogers once uh, what, what he would do if silver and gold go up or silver and gold go down. And he had one answer. He says, I just buy more. And that's what I've been doing. My dollar cost average is great, even though I started buying I think uh, when silver was right around $17 an ounce, but now that I've been just like on a regular monthly kind of purchase plan, my dollar cost average is really in a good spot. That's the thing about the Money Metals Exchange. They have, uh, and I've got a link to them, a couple of banners around there. 
they have a monthly savings plan where you, you know you, you don't even feel it. I mean, you could you could just buy one ounce a month uh, instead of having a pizza once a month, and uh, you know I could I could spare one pizza a month. I don't know if you can see how chubby I am here, but I can spare a pizza a month for a pizza. You can own an ounce of silver that I think within the near term could double or more in value and it's it's stored wealth that'll never go away anyway what else are we going to talk about tonight i know what i wanted to talk about so you saw that i got these coins in the little plastic flip tabs that they ship what i do and again i'm not selling anything here i'm giving you advice I went to Amazon and I buy this package of 50. Can you see that? 50 40.6 millimeter coin capsules. And they come like this. Hopefully I won't spill them all out as I show you. They come in a box like that. And when you get your coins in, you take a paper towel or some sort of maybe even a maybe even the the tissue that comes inside the box. And you take these coins and you put them in the capsules, give them a good snap, they're airtight, and then they are sealed in a nice little container for display and handling and uh, it's a much safer way to keep things. But I get these on Amazon and the company name is HMN Supplies. HMN supplies on amazon.com. They're not that expensive. If you order, if you, if you were to go to uh, any one of the big bullion dealers like Atmex or SD bullion, as great a prices as they have on the actual bullion coins themselves, the, they, they charge you like a uh, dollar 49 for each one of these. If you just click and say, yeah, give me a capsule too. This way they come down about 60 cents each and you can keep your coins safe. That's all I really have tonight. Just wanted to stop in, say hi, mess around with your heads a little bit, play a little bit of salsa music. And this is Chris with Hotspot Metals signing off from my treehouse in Chicago.